there, welcome to this week's edition of the TCM Import. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight, from Italian director Federico Fellini, we have the film often credited for making Fellini internationally famous from 1953, Eve Vitelloni. The title translates roughly as Big Slabs of Veal, a great American title. It's the story of five spoiled, directionless friends who seem to have nothing better to do than just hang around. Think of it as the precursor to Seinfeld. No, don't. Although, actually, there may be something to that. I'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, they spend much of their time in their small-town pool hall trying to avoid performing work of any substance. At the time, Federico Fellini was not Federico Fellini internationally acclaimed director. Not yet, anyway. He was just another talented young Italian who wanted to make movies, and the few movies he had made hadn't made much money. He was shopping around a new script, the movie that would become his landmark drama, La Strada. But the studio wanted nothing to do with La Strada. Instead, his producer encouraged Fellini to try his hand at a project that, you know, might make some money. And the result was this comedy. And this film, E. Vitelloni, became Fellini's first big hit, winner of the Silver Lion Award at the prestigious Venice Film Festival. In the years that followed, it's been credited with influencing any number of American filmmakers, inspiring their own stories of slackers with big-time dreams. Think Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets or Barry Levinson's Diner, even George Lucas's American Graffiti, certainly Kevin Smith's Clerks, all said to be influenced at least a bit by this Fellini classic and maybe, yes, maybe even Seinfeld. From 1953, here's Ivitaloni. Alone. 